Okay, her name is Jeannie Childs, okay. and she was also known as Jennifer. And so she is a, um, a person that lived in these buildings in 1993. Okay. And she was found in her building in her apartment deceased. Do you know anything about that at all? No. February 11th, 2019, cold case investigators are grilling Jerry Westrom about his potential involvement in the vicious slang of Jeannie Childs. The interrogation is recorded and would eventually be played for a Hennepin County jury at Westrom's recent murder trial. The reason that we're talking is she was found deceased in her, in her apartment, okay? And we, we think that you were inside that apartment. Would that be any reason for that at all to happen, you think? I have no. Okay. All right. Westrom was shown photos of the victim and denied knowing child who was a prostitute at the time. Westrom insisted he was never in her Minneapolis apartment inside Horn Towers and never had sex with her. But authorities had his DNA all over the bloody crime scene. Okay. Does it shock you to know your DNA is there? Yes. What Westrom did not know at the time is detectives had run what had been unidentified DNA evidence in the case file through public genealogy databases, tracing back to the immediate Westrom family. Law enforcement would then zero in on the Cambridge Isanti businessman and hockey dad, secretly following him to his daughter's game at this Wisconsin ice arena. They watched him toss out a used napkin with his hot dog order and grab the evidence. And the science did not lie. Westrom's DNA on that napkin, a perfect match. That's where bloody footprints photographed around the 35-year-old victim. More than enough for 12 jurors to find him guilty of first-degree premeditated murder. For his part, Jerry Westrom is scheduled to be sentenced here at the Hennepin County Government Center on Friday morning. He will be sentenced under the guidelines and laws of 1993, the year of the brutal murder. As such, he is looking at a life sentence behind bars with the possibility of release after serving 30 years. Though his defense attorney has promised an appeal, arguing there is plenty of evidence that someone else is the killer. Reporting from Minneapolis, Paul Bloom, Fox 9.